We're kicking off a new series today as we head into the new year, and it's called Your Best to Me in 23. That rings good. It does. Pretty good. Yes, it does, where we help you uh, stay on top of your goals and become your best self in this new year. That's right. We are starting off with mending relationships with the healing power of simply saying, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Have you apologized to me? I have. Yeah. I have. I have. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just for everything, right? <laughs> author Marjorie Engel is here. She's the co-author and sharing tips and insightful knowledge on how to do that best from her new book, Sorry, 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 The Case for Good Apologies. We want to welcome you here today. Thank welcome. you so Good much to for see having you. me. Okay, so let's kick off the series. We are talking about apologies and why they're so important. Um, w let's talk about why it's important to apologize and why it's important to have the right kind of apology. Yeah. Um, apologies are a step we can take to make a better world. Uh, you know, right now it's right, it's new year, new you time, and we're often thinking about, you know, oh, I should diet, I should drink less, which are good, but those are inward facing. And apologies are something outward facing that we can do to really build a world that we all want to live in. Let's start at the beginning. Let's say a friend hurts another friend. Uh, what are the things to consider before you apologize? Great question. So the first thing is, are you sorry? Because we maintain that if you're not sorry, don't apologize. Mm. But you might want to sit with it for a little bit and think about why your friend is upset and think about why you value this relationship. And often when you sit with it for a little while, our brains are wired to make us defensive. That's how we get through the world is by making ourselves the hero in our own story. But when you have to apologize, when you've done a bad thing, you have to be vulnerable and you have to reach out to your friend and say, I know that I was the bad guy in your story. And that's so good for your relationship if, you, if it's a real friend. Okay, and you break it down for us in the book. You actually have a plan yes. for how to deliver a beautiful apology. You say people have to start by saying, I'm sorry, yeah. but six, also... Six easy steps. Okay. First, use the words, I'm sorry, or I apologize, not regret. Nobody wants to hear about your feelings of regret. Number two, because regret is about you. And apologies are about somebody else. Number two is say what you did, not for the situation or that incident, say it. Number three is show that you understand why you hurt the other person. Number four is explain if you need to, but do not make excuses. Number five is if you can make reparations, make reparations. And number six is, you know, make it clear why you won't do this again. What steps are you taking? And then Six and a half is <laughs> listen. People want to be heard when mm -hmm. they're upset. That is so important. That yeah. listen word there. Yep. So, you know, when you're saying you're sorry to someone, what are the words that you use? What are the phrases that you stay away from? Yeah. Uh, the kind of words that you don't want to say are like obvious. Obviously, I'm upset. I, I, I feel bad. If, if it's obvious, you wouldn't be saying it. You know, already, I've already apologized. Uh, you know, saying... Um, Regret saying sorry if, sorry but. Or I'm sorry you feel sorry that way. Sorry you. Yeah. yeah. Putting it on the other person, talking about your own journey. Nobody cares about your journey. Talking about the dialogue, talking about Jesus. No, think about the other person. <laughs> <laughs> then a final question. Yeah. You know, what do you do when you never get the apology? How do you find closure when someone never apologizes to you and you know they hurt you? Someone just asked me about a relative who died who had hurt them. And what do you do when you can't? talk to the person anymore or if the person is somebody who you know is not going to apologize to you satisfactorily that's the work that you have to do internally to say you know what this isn't on me this is on them and you don't have to accept if that per if a person is offering you what you know are half-hearted crappy gaslighting apologies you don't have to accept that you know your own self you know sense of self still comes first in an apology situation I have one Last question. Yeah. Because as women, we tend to over apologize. I'm trying to teach my daughters not to do this. They already do it at a young age. So, how do you know when you need an apology and when you should skip it? I would actually reframe that because uh, why do we frame it that women are the ones who over apologize? Why don't men apologize more? And it's, a, it's an interesting <laughs> question because when you actually look at research, it shows that. Uh, when men think they have done wrong, they apologize just as much as women do. And men are more likely to apologize to women than to other men. So I think... Say it louder for the people <laughs> in the back, please, please. <laughs> so what you can do is say to a man, do you see why that's distressing to me? And let's talk about that. And maybe give them the opportunity to apologize. Okay. Little gender battle right here. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good to see you. Thank Thanks you so for much for having me. Well. And by the way, Marjorie's book, Sorry, 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 is available January 10th everywhere that books are sold. So make sure you get out and go get it.
Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.